In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Almighty and eternal Father, accept our prayer of thanksgiving for your beloved Son, our Savior and Lord. As we recall his sacred passion, send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts, we beg you, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Like a shoot from the parched earth, 
There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. He was rejected and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men turn away, and we held him in no esteem. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross in his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons, so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounced sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings we might rise to the life of joyful service, free from all selfishness. Amen. Simon of Cyrene helps. 
helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, a name meaning the place of the skull. With a loud voice I cry out to the Lord, with a loud voice I beseech the Lord. My complaint I pour out before him, before him I lay bare my distress. When my spirit is faint within me, you know my path. In the way along which I walk, they have been a trap for me. I took to the right, I look to the right to see, but there is no one who pays me heed. I have lost all means of escape. There is no one who cares for my life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives a share in your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we hear all things, that we bear all things in union with you, who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen.
Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter or a sheep before the shearers, he was silent and uttered no cry. When he was cut off from the land of the living and smitten for the sin of his people, a grave was assigned him among the wicked and a burial place with evil doers, though he had done no wrong nor spoken any falsehood. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. Amen. so that he might rise from the dead, freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection in union with your Son. Amen. of his 
clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. Happy is the man whom God chastises. Do not reject the punishment of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he binds up. He smites, but his hands give healing. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for comforters, and I found none. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people whom you loved. Clothe us with genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my prayer, far from the words of my cry. O oh my God, I cry out by day, and you answer not. I cry out by night, and there is no relief for me. All my bones are wrecked. My heart has become like wax, melting away within my chest. My throat is dried up like baked clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaws. They have placed, they have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Let us pray. Lord and Savior, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to the resurrection. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Then bowing his head, he died. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I offended you? Answer me. What more should I have done and did not do? 
I led you out of the land of Egypt, and you prepared a cross for me. I opened the Red Sea before you, and you opened my side with a lance. I gave you a royal scepter, and you have given me a crown of thorns. With great power I lifted you up, and you have hung me upon a cross. My people, what have I done to you, or in what have I offended you? Answer me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so that they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave permission. O oh, my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, and I will bring you back to your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live. You shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised it, and I will do it, says the Lord. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you returned to the Father all that he had given you, so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus, and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. I will praise you, O Lord, for you drew me, drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the lower world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, his goodwill is for a lifetime. At nighttime, weeping enters in, but with dawn comes rejoicing. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness, when all seemed lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self-concern, that we might see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus.
Saint Barbara, mighty patroness of the dying, pray for us. All ye holy helpers, pray for us. All ye saints of God, pray for us. In temptations against faith, pray for us. In adversity and trials, pray for us. In anxiety and want, pray for us. In every combat, pray for us. In every temptation, pray for us. In sickness, Pray for us in all needs. Pray for us in fear and terror. Pray for us in dangers of salvation. Pray for us in dangers of honor. Pray for us in dangers of reputation. Pray for us in dangers of trust and property. Pray for us in dangers by fire and water. Pray for us. Be merciful, spare us, O Lord. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Lord. The response is, deliver us, O Lord. From all sin, deliver us, O Lord. From thy wrath, deliver us, O Lord. From the scourge of earthquake, deliver us, O Lord. From plague, famine, and war, deliver us, O Lord. From lightning and storms, deliver us, O Lord. From sudden and unprovided death, deliver us, O Lord. From eternal damnation, deliver us, O Lord. Through the mystery of thy holy incarnation, deliver us, O Lord. Through thy birth and thy life, deliver us, O Lord. Through thy cross and passion, deliver us, O Lord. Through thy death and burial, deliver us, O Lord. Through the merits of thy blessed mother, deliver us, O Lord. Through the merits of the fourteen holy helpers, deliver us, O Lord. On the day of judgment, deliver us, O Lord. We sinners beseech to hear us, that thou spare us. The response is, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt pardon us, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt convert us to true repentance, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt give and preserve the fruits of the earth, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt protect and propagate thy holy church, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt preserve peace and concord among the nations, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt give eternal rest to the souls of the departed, we beseech thee, hear us. That thou wilt come to our aid through the intercession of the holy helpers, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. George, thou wilt preserve us in the faith, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Blaise, thou wilt confirm us in hope, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Erasmus, thou wilt enkindle in us thy holy love, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Pantaleon, thou wilt give us charity for our neighbor, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Vitus, thou wilt teach us the value of our soul, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Christophorus, thou wilt preserve us from sin, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Diodosus, that will give us tranquility of conscience, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Syriacus, that will grant us resignation to thy holy will, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Eustachius, that will give us patience in adversity, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Pacioxius, that will grant us a happy death, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Giles, Thou wilt grant us a merciful judgment, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Margaret, thou wilt preserve us from hell, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Catherine, thou wilt shorten our purgatory, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of St. Barbara, thou wilt receive us in heaven, we beseech thee, hear us. That through the intercession of all the holy helpers, thou wilt grant our, prayer, our prayers, we beseech thee, hear us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Pray for us, ye fourteen holy helpers, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who hast bestowed extraordinary graces and gifts on thy saints, George, Blaise, Erasmus, Pantaleon, Vitus, Christophorus, Dionysius, Syracius, Eustachius, Archiaxius, Giles, Margaret, Catherine, 
and Barbara, and hast illustrated them by miracles, and beseech to thee to graciously hear the petitions of all who invoke their intercession, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who didst miraculously fortify the fourteen holy helpers in the confession of the faith, grant us to beseech thee to imitate their fortitude in overcoming all temptations against it, and protect us through their intercession in all dangers of soul and body, so that we may serve thee in purity of heart and chastity of body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be God, true man, true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the most sacred heart of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the most the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. 
Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. 